So we started this uh, partnership with Eastern Michigan University in the neutral zone to uh, work with a group of students to really provide them some training in our youth driven spaces approach with the goal of helping them think about how to share power with students and increase and amplify student voice when they work in the classrooms. It's a more community-focused, joyful learning um, experience in looking at creating a teacher preparation pathway. So it seemed like a really good merge because what we were encouraging and envisioning education was to be something radically different. And so you can imagine it to be radically different, but to be able to implement, you need skill sets and mindsets and practices and spaces and experiences that most of us don't. We grew up in very traditional educational settings. So the space was around um, really examining practices and learning those practices to create community. First among this group, and then imagining doing that with future students. So I think, yeah, it's, it's just so necessary for teachers in a space, like an, an educational space where, you know, youth are learning and gaining skills and knowledge to feel supported and empowered so that they can take that information and do um, really make some amazing change with it. We currently have 12 students that are completing the program and we've really tried to focus on bringing in some students from some underrepresented identities. Most of the teaching field is currently white and there's really been a big emphasis on trying to bring more teachers of color into the teaching community and really trying to give them an experience where they feel like they're they're part of a learning community, building collegiality among themselves and um, with the trainers and instructors that have been working with them. This fellowship has been amazing. I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity. The main thing I feel is just a youth-driven space, just right off the bat, you can just see the energy is so different. It's opened my eyes to a lot of social issues and academic issues that I didn't know existed before. So all the discussions and group meetings and or everything like that's thrown out there like I take it like I don't it don't go in one ear and not the other like I keep it. The fact that the fellowship has allowed me to feel like I've been seen I feel like I am a part of something greater than myself and I think that's a very powerful feeling to have. I'm excited to use everything I learned. Icebreakers, opening activities, how to include the youth's voice in the classroom. I feel like the fellowship has impacted um, the way that I view teachers and the way I view um, the whole um, relationship between teachers and students and learning and teaching. My um, passion has increased just because I've been presented with so many more opportunities and ideas and skills. There was a big focus on student voice. It's like a, like a light bulb just went off in my head because I, I think it's definitely important to have students uh, involved in their own learning. From my experience as a student, a lot of traditional classrooms, you sit and absorb the lecture and there's not really like that one-on-one -on -one connection with the teacher and asking students what they thought and kind of giving their input. Um, I really like that aspect of the youth-driven space um, because I think it will open a lot of doors for students to give them more opportunities. Coming from a Detroit public school system, it was always a lingering disconnect between students and teachers. So being able to grasp the concept and understand what youth adult partnership is, it, it makes me eager to actually implement this in my teaching style when I do get a chance to actually become a teacher. It's kind of switched my thinking from someone who's going to just provide to someone who's going to facilitate education because if you think about it like someone who provides something, all the efforts on your side whereas when you're facilitating it, the students are the ones who are providing the effort and are engaged in their own learning. Yeah, just giving them a voice. I feel like that's a huge part. Like I really didn't have that. Being probably the only African American in each class. It's not an opportunity that you really get in your education classes, so the fellowship really like is a chance to learn about other people's experiences and find ways to work together to make 
like the future of education better. This is really lame, but I'd like to thank um, everyone with the Neutral Zone and um, Aman and everyone who had a hand in creating this fellowship because I feel like I am definitely a transformed individual and will be a transformed teacher um, by the end of this just because it's uh, something, one of those things you can't get from a textbook. You actually have to experience it and then the opportunities that are given to me through this fellowship are just something I can't get anywhere else. So. I just love this program. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>